Remember what it was like learning how to play your favorite sport? Or learning steps to a new dance? Wasn't it great to have someone there to teach you? Now that you want to learn how to use the Solar Star Pack pre-filled with Lantis, we're here to teach you how to do it in six easy-to-follow steps. Prescription Lantis is a long-acting insulin used to treat adults with type 2 diabetes and adults and children six years and older with type 1 diabetes for the control of high blood sugar. It should be taken once a day at the same time each day to lower blood glucose. Do not use Lantus to treat diabetic ketoacidosis. Before we start the steps, let's take a look at the different parts of the pen in the needle. The Lantus Solostar pen is gray, has a flat, smooth injection button, and is filled with 300 units of Lantus, a long-acting insulin. This is the pen cap. The pen cap protects the pen when you're not using it. When you remove the cap, you can see the rubber seal, which protects the insulin in the pen reservoir. The dose window has large, easy-to-read numbers so that you can clearly see the dose you're dialing. The pen needle has an outer cap, an inner needle cap that covers the actual needle, and a protective seal. Pen needles are not included with the pen. Lantis Solostar is compatible with Becton Dickinson Ultra Fine Pen Needles. Before we start with step one, here are some important reminders about using the pen. Store unopened Lantus Solostar pens in the refrigerator until expiration date. You can also store unopened pens at room temperature, but only for 28 days. Before injecting, wait until the pen has been out of the refrigerator and warms up to room temperature, so the insulin in the pen will feel more comfortable when you inject it. After opening the pen, you should not refrigerate it and you can use it for up to 28 days. Always attach the needle first before dialing the dose selector. And always use a new needle. Always wash your hands with soap and water before an injection. And remember to clean the injection site with alcohol. Now let's go to step one, getting ready for an injection. Remove the pen cap. Before beginning, Check to see that the insulin in the pen is clear and colorless. The insulin in this pen is clear, so it's okay to use it. If it is not clear, or if it has particles, do not use that Lantus Solostar pen. Use another pen, or call the 24-hour helpline at 1-800-633-1610. Okay, now you've completed the first step. So let's go on to step two, attaching a needle. First, remove the protective seal. Then, holding the needle straight, screw it on snugly, but don't make it too tight. If you have a push-on needle, keep it straight as you push it on. Never hold the needle at an angle when screwing it onto the pen. After you've attached the needle, take off the outer needle cap. Save the outer needle cap because you will need it later to safely remove the needle after your injection. Now, take off the inner needle cap and throw it away. Now let's move on to step three, doing a safety test. First, dial a test dose of two units. Now, holding the pen with the needle pointing up, Gently tap the reservoir so the air bubbles rise up to the needle. Then press the injection button all the way in and check to see that insulin comes out of the needle. The dial will automatically go back to zero after you perform the test. If no insulin comes out, repeat the test two more times. If that doesn't work, then use a new needle. If no insulin comes out after you've changed the needle, do not use the pen. Use another pen. All right, we're already halfway through. So let's go on to step four, selecting the dose. Dial the dose your doctor has prescribed for you. For this demonstration, we're dialing a dose of 10 units. A great feature of the Lantus Solostar pen is that if you dial too little or too much, you can dial back up or down until you reach your dose. But the dose can't be dialed past the number of insulin units that are still in the pen. The pen has an automatic safety stop at 80 units. 
If you need a dose of more than 80 units, then you must give yourself another injection. Use a new pen needle if you need to give yourself another injection. You must always attach a new needle and discard the one you just used. Now let's go on to step five, injecting your dose. Injecting with the Lantis Solostar pen is easy and takes seconds to do. The Lantis Solostar pen uses a very thin needle that you can inject in the upper arms, the abdomen, or the thighs. Keeping the pen straight, insert the needle into your skin. Using your thumb, press the injection button all the way down. Then, slowly count to 10 to make sure that you get your full insulin dose. After counting a full 10 seconds, release the button and remove the needle from your skin. Congratulations! You've learned how to inject yourself with the Lantis Solo Star Pen. Now let's go to the last step. Step 6. Removing the needle. Put the outer needle cap back on the needle and use it to unscrew the needle from the pen. If you have a push-on needle, then pull the outer needle cap from the pen. Discard the needle and the needle cap the way your healthcare provider told you to do it. You can use a Sharps container or visit www.safeneedledisposal.org for other safe ways to dispose of used needles. Put the pen cap back on the pen and store it in a safe place. With practice, you can do this. But if you forget a step or two, just play the video again. You can also read these injection instructions in the full prescribing information at the link above.